Good morning, dear hearts. Okay, uh, we are on lesson 63. Please subscribe. And we're continuing with the, the weaving of the old and the new together. The um, lessons we will be weaving into, our previous lessons, are the uh, lessons 35 through 40. Most of them are all about holiness. Today's lesson is the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. Well, how do I get to my holiness? Well, it's going to be through my forgiveness. Without forgiveness, I will not be able to recognize my own holiness. My own holiness is going to be synonymous with salvation. But it's not salvation just for me. It is for everyone. So the um, lesson starts out with how holy are you who have the power to bring peace to every mind. Lesson 35, my mind is part of God's. I am very holy. I bring peace to every mind because every mind is part of mine and part of God's. How blessed are you who can learn to recognize the means for letting this be done through you? What purpose could you have that would bring you greater happiness? My holiness blesses the world. And in that lesson, which is number 37, there is a line, and I will get to it momentarily. This, there's a lot of page flip in here. Uh, <laughs> my holiness blesses the world. And in the very beginning of that lesson, your purpose is to see the world through your own holiness. So through my own holiness, I will see the world and what purpose could I have that would bring greater happiness the in uh, the acknowledgement of my holiness blesses the world so the entire world will indeed be blessed and will find happiness no one loses is what lesson 37 says nothing is taken away from anyone everyone gains through your holy vision the second paragraph of today's lesson, 63, you are indeed the light of the world with such a function. My function, again, purpose, see the world through holy eyes. See this world as being one with everyone, with our Father mostly, but yes, first and foremost, but with everyone, for there to be no separation between any living things, any part of creation. The Son of God looks to you for his redemption. It is yours to give him for it belongs to you. And there is nothing my holiness cannot do is lesson 38. My holiness can do anything because my holiness comes from God. It is part of creation. There's no limitations on God or creation, except no trivial purpose or meaningless desire in its place, or you will forget your function and leave the Son of God in hell. Holiness is my salvation, and my holiness indeed is everyone's. Lesson 39, my holiness is my salvation, begins, if guilt is hell, what is its opposite? The opposite of that guilt, the opposite of hell, is indeed the acknowledgement of holiness and salvation. This is no idle request. Back to 63, that is being asked of you. You are being asked to accept salvation, that it may be yours to give because holiness is my salvation. There's nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness blesses the world. It gives me purpose. My holiness envelops everything I see. All of these previous lessons we can see blended in or being re we're reminded of them through um, paragraph two of today's lesson. Recognizing the importance of this function we will be happy to remember it often today. We will begin the day by acknowledging it and close the day with the thought in our awareness. Again, the morning and the evening, we do these exercises, but my happiness. So for this, I just want to go for the moment to lesson 40, that I am blessed as a son of God, because within 
that lesson, our practicing was, I am blessed as a son of God. I am happy, peaceful, loving, and contented. I am blessed as a son of God. I am calm, quiet, assured, and confident. And all of those things, those qualities, those characteristics of a son of God play here as being the light of the world that brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. Again, forgiveness is going to be the way that I recognize my holiness. Through forgiveness, I will see and recognize the light. I will find peace within that light and happiness will follow, not just for me, but for everyone. And in the practicing for today, the words we are given, the prayer that we are given to go into our practicing is I the light of the world will the light of the world will will blah, sorry the light of the world <sighs> brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world holiness is my salvation so we close our eyes we again this is a lesson that we repeat as often as possible during the day uh, close your eyes when you can to go into the practicing and it says do not wait however for such an opportunity don't wait until you can go into that kind of a space just go there as quickly as and as often as you can and especially if anything comes to disturb your peace. Remember that God's son looks to you for his salvation and who but yourself, big S self, would be his son. I am blessed as a son of God, lesson 40. So I hope that helped weaving this together. Don't know what adventure I'll find for us tomorrow, but uh, in the meantime, I hope you liked, share, subscribe, comment i'm loving the comments um and of course pray we, we're praying for this peace to come to every mind every mind what an amazing shift we all will have when peace is part of every mind so namaste